What's up? Long time no videos. I have been working on stuff though. A lot of stuff actually. Just nothing's really completed yet. So this video is an unboxing of a Warhammer sprue lot that I recently snagged off eBay. Including shipping, it was $42.50. USD. So after we look through everything, let me know in the comments if I got a good deal or if you know of any good bridges you would like to sell me. So in addition to this nice bag of packing peanuts I got, all the sprues came in this uh, vampire zombie dragon box from Warhammer Fantasy. And yeah, look at all those sprues. First one is a Putrid Blight King's sprue. I had to look these up to make sure I knew what they were, but there's some cool torsos. Got a nice Nurgle icon there, nice shoulder pad, a lot of cool accent pieces that I can put on some Death Guard models, like some uh, Space Marines, a lot of different weapons, a ton of heads. Uh, I plan on doing some possessed models and there's a lot of cool heads on there. A zombie looking head for maybe a Pox Walker conversion or maybe a Plague Bearer. Yeah, there, that guy. A nurgling head popping out of a uh, stomach. That's kind of gross, but awesome. We've got a lot of unique looking chaos shields here. Uh, some nice axes and swords. Some nice helmets. Even more shields and a skull. I love skulls. Those tusks, maybe like a custom helmet or something. This is, I think, from the zombie dragon that the, the sprues came in, the box of sprues came in. I'm not sure what I'll use these for. Those are some cool kind of fleshy bone parts. This ornate vampire helmet. Again, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but it looks cool. Some skulls on hooks, which I could use for pretty much anything, really. Intricate weapons there. And then starts the uh, ton of Ogor Glutton Sprues. I wasn't super familiar with these, so I had to look up what they were. And these I can probably use for conversions for more Pathfinder D&D stuff, because it doesn't really fit in with the Chaos Army I'm building. But yeah, there's all sorts of heads. Maybe if I wanted to do another Nurgle Demon Prince or something, I could use those heads. There's some goblins. Looks like a rack of ribs. Um, a bear trap. After I went through all the trouble of making a bunch of them out of paper, I got a plastic one now too. Actually several, because yeah, these are just more and more sprues of these Ogor gluttons. Got a skull here and a banner. I know what I'm gonna use that skull for. I'm gonna convert a maggot crown ogre from the Reaper Bones line or Bones Black, and I'm gonna swap out the skull on that. But then I've got a lot of these weapons, even more goblins. I can definitely use the barrels for terrain. So a lot of these are just gonna end up accenting maybe like hero clicks models that I convert for Pathfinder. Here's a standalone skull. Another sprue of a skull and a banner. Even more sprues of these Ogor gluttons. This is just, unless I'm missing something, that's an empty sprue. I've been watching a lot of miniature hobbyist videos, so I'll probably turn a lot of these into sprue goo. Empty sprues, that is. All right, here we go with some more chaos stuff. We've got a shield. We've got some little corn icons and chaos stars. I think when I looked this up, it was the Mighty Skull Crushers set that these are from. We've got a nice... Uh, chess piece. I'll probably try to pull some of the corn symbols off of these shields with Oyumaru to accent some other models like maybe dreadnoughts or tanks or something. Got some cool corn heads that would definitely look good on some space marine models. Maybe like some berserker conversions. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Because I've got like 80 space marines from 15 years ago I need to convert so. Cool shoulder pads. Another Putrid Blight King sprue here. Got some more helmets. That's a cool helmet for maybe a Death Guard Marine. All these cool weapons that are all kind of rusted and eaten up. I'll definitely find use for the heads. Another Blight King sprue here. 
I'll find some use for these weapons. These are really cool axes. Nice sword. And a scythe. Gotta find something to do with those, because those are just too cool to leave sitting around in the bits box forever. That's definitely going to be a head for a possessed model. What do we have here? That could be on like a pox walker or something, like for a head swap. We've got this collar, which I plan on doing some flesh hound conversions, so maybe I'll use that for that. That's one of them. I think I got two in the box. Even more axes. I could probably put those on like maybe some cultists or something. A nice looking axe head here. A lot of these could be used for like D&D conversions, which I'll probably end up doing as well. A nice gladiator style helmet. What else I got here? Some more weapons. And a helmet. That helmet looks familiar from my obliterator conversion video. That banner and shield would look good on the back of a bike or something. Uh, I think this is from a chaos, like a chariot. Got a big horn. Uh, I think I have two so I could put those on some sort of a skull or something. This is another zombie dragon sprue, I think. Got some skulls on hooks. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use like the two toes on a rock for. I guess for like scatter terrain or something. Like I'm not sure. What am I going to use like is this a pelvis piece? What am I going to use that for? But then in the bottom of the box we've got this metal skull with a chain and a spike. I guess this went to something bigger. I'm not really sure what that's for. Uh, another arm for one of the Ogor gluttons. Plus we got a full, well not full, but mostly assembled model with the uh, Iron Sheik boots. Those will probably end up as some sort of a giant for Pathfinder or something because it doesn't really fit with the, uh, the style of my Chaos Army. Maybe I could try another Nurgle Demon Prince or something. There's that second horn that I can use for some sort of a skull or maybe armor, I don't know. Other little bits and bobs, arms and stuff. Another one of those Iron Sheik boots. A little tassel. That would work fine with any sort of chaos thing. So that's what that skull and chain thing looks like sort of painted up. And then a nice little mound of skulls with some spikes sticking out of it. You can definitely use that for a bunch of stuff. And this little chaos shield. I may use that to fix that extra tall obliterator. Plus I got this little spear. So that's what that sprue lot was. I paid $42.50 for it. There's a lot of potential in it, but I mean, I don't know, was $42.50 worth it or not? You let me know in the comments below. And as a bonus, I've been on the Facebook marketplace a lot lately on different Warhammer groups. And for 60 bucks shipped, I got a partially assembled Predator. You see the, the turret on the top and another tank sprue here. Pretty much got everything still on the sprue. Got some helmets, all the good tank bits there. And I'll unwrap this, and this is the tank itself. Pretty well assembled. Periscope things on top of the sponsons. One of them moves, the other one doesn't. I'm missing some tank treads. I'll probably try to Oyumaru the other side and make a copy to fix that, and then maybe grime it up if it doesn't look that great. This is definitely going to get converted into some sort of a chaos tank. And I also picked up in that lot three Outriders from the new Indomitus box. These are definitely going to be some chaos uh, Space Marine bikers. Got a lot of ideas for these. And I ordered another three uh, from someone else. So I'll have at least two sets of chaos bikers. Probably one corn and one Nurgle. Maybe a third kind of Black Legion Chaos Undivided. But that's going to wrap up this unboxing video. Again, let me know in the comments if I got a good deal or didn't. In addition to this stuff, I've been buying things like a madman with some disposable income. So there are a lot of projects on the horizon. I've been jumping from project to project kind of aimlessly. 
to be honest, but I hope to have some stuff done soon to share. If you saw any bits on the sprues from this unboxing that you think would be great for a conversion that maybe I'm just not thinking of or didn't mention, feel free to throw those in the comments below. I still don't know what I'm going to do with all those Ogor Glutton sprues. Subscribe if you feel like it, and if you enjoyed this video, throw a stack of papers at that like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.